What up guys, Gambler? We're on uh, EQ2, brand new. Uh, I thought I would just record, just kind of messing around. Only been on here for like a minute trying to get my audio to work. That's so all if you guys are brand new. Uh, obviously, I have premium running, so you guys aren't going to have, get the 2k resources from your first turn in, but you guys can see my premium time is less than an hour just from the other servers but uh you come in here and uh maybe i'm gonna you guys can you don't gotta listen to me ramble i'm pretty much gonna maybe explain <clears throat> my thought process when building my first uh station so uh you come in here and uh i know i know i could i could be min maxing right now i'm not gonna be going into that so First station, <clears throat> I usually go plasma chamber for running flares. Like, look at this. You got a, a couple of of uh, suns close by. If you end up getting a gate on this, uh, that's what you want to be uh, prioritizing. <clears throat> I'm just gonna run my raid real quick. Actually, am I gonna, am I gonna play? I'm not. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm just gonna explain my first build. So we'll come in here. Typically, when when you keep your starter, you you really want to uh, think about most of the time you're not going to be staying in the starter area. If you're actually playing the game, you want to be more trying to get out on the map. So with that idea in mind, what... What's the best way to build a starter that's going to help you function um, far away from here? So typically, uh, it's interesting. I actually haven't been on EQ. So if you can see this, you're actually on a in a ring. And let's see this. So usually you can cheat and see where ice is. So it looks like there's not really, <clears throat> looks like everything is spread out. So EQ is kind of weird. Uh, but still, I think that you'd be operating uh, at least a decent uh, distance away. So you can see here, I mean, I, you can go like here. If you see the spot, you've already found like a deep, look at the, <laughs> there's a lot of, I think that this map probably has a lot of resources on it. I mean, I'm looking literally for two seconds and, there's a, there's a decent mining colonies out here, but let's get back to this. So when I'm thinking about my, my starter, obviously running flares, usually early game search and rescue for running missions is what I will build. Then I will go into, I actually really like implant clinic implant clinic. Uh, is it, when you supply scouts or, uh, from this station, which is, this is your only station right now, you're going to get a lot of movement for scanning. So, um, obviously it's going to take maybe you just a little bit to get your communication array up. And then this, this implant clinic actually helps you scan suns. So you don't even have, you don't have a star gate up, but implant clinic helps you with scanning. So I think that that has been my motivation to build over anything else, just because the only thing you're going to be really doing from here is in the last slot is probably, um, either, like a fleet docks, um, docking bay, or you can make the case of getting Department of Acquisitions here. So for you new guys, Department of Acquisitions buffs your ability to um, raid. So you get plunder values and you get cargo space from acquisitions. So when you have a couple hundred Corvettes flying around raiding your Marauders all over the place, um, Acquisitions helps you do that. So you get in here and the reason why I want, I, I, I could simply just tell you guys what to build, but your build should cater to the map that you're on. So right now you can see actually there's, there's a lot of level one Marauders here. So maybe you would want to go a really heavy rating early on. So I said <clears throat> for this slot, I would go implant clinic, but you really do want to combo some early game making light ships so you're either going to be making 
using fleet docks for making corvettes or patrols and then you want to combo that maybe with uh department of acquisitions for raiding and then this slot might be search and rescue or if you're not really going to be running missions from this location like you're going to wait to start doing missions and like the only thing that you're going to i mean early early game you want to be making industrials but after you get like 40 50 60 industrials maybe you want to get fleet docks you want to do that early game uh rating so you'd make fleet docks here uh maybe this slot is instead is in plant clinic because you're not going to be running missions from here because a lot of your early game is just going to be making industrials so you got plasma chamber um implant clinic fleet docks and then acquisitions and so next so we were after the first four or five six hours um if you do the min maxing on here you uh you're into you've got most of your where maybe your refineries are level seven level eight maybe the all of these are level seven level ten and so the next slots is going to be uh dependent obviously on what you want to try to do here but i want to say uh, i think drone launch facility so this this station like i said you might be really far away from your starter so drone launch faci facility for streaming resources is going to be really crucial here. Like maybe, uh, the, so if you guys don't, if you guys are new, so when you stream, you can stream resources. So when you land your second station, maybe your st second station is all the way out here. You make, you can place a, I'm going to place a pin right here. And this is your second station. Second station. Okay. So let's say you're this far away. So, um, to get from here to here, you need, you can either stream to this location or you can freight to this location, or you can do both. <laughs> so like a heavy rating build here and streaming and running freighters might be the play to eventually get online. You're trying to go from your starter out to your new station. So the level two. Uh, slots <clears throat> might be I don't know if you want you can you might be able to get communication array here but I think that that this location you should really be focused on streaming so you're gonna have street you're gonna have drone launch facility here this is also might be uh let's see so I'm looking through here maybe you want communication array here Communication array is going to allow you to see kind of what's going on around you because what's going to happen is <clears throat> after like you don't want to I, I would highly suggest you guys if and especially if you're new, you're not going to keep your starter, your your um, capital, your capital is going to be uh, in this this position, like maybe your first station instead of it being right here, it's right here and you're going mining colony here. You can see like this is a, a decent spot for a mining colony. But obviously, work shed is better. But if this is your new, this is going to be like your focus, like you found really good moons here, you found really good production here, you guys would want to change this to your capital. And what happens is when you change your capital, this station doesn't have any any range on it. Like right now, this your capital always gets 10 range on it. But when you change your capital, this doesn't get any range on it. So you can't see what's going on around you. So maybe I would build drone launch facility here and then communication array for some vision and then the third slot i might go warehouse so warehouse is going to allow you to stockpile if you're running a lot of raids <clears throat> maybe you want to go here and the reason i say warehouse is because i've actually seen now that i've i've been around a little bit during starts and i can see what if people are actually build building tier four outposts here i think the only viable option you might have out in your starter might be might be mining colony so i have seen some people build really really early mining colonies on their starter i don't i'm not seeing like any options out here for a mining colony but if you do want to build a mining colony here and you want to like maybe your terran 
and you get half price to outposts and it's actually somewhat feasible to get a mining colony here you can go because not only you're going to be raiding from here but if you have like a decent spot for a mining colony here you might want to go warehouse so so drone launch uh communication array and then warehouse here and then we're going to go into t into tier three buildings so maybe like i said you want to be not you're going to this location you're keeping your starter you want uh, distribution hub this is going to buff your freighters leaving from here so if you're heavily raiding from here maybe you're getting some flares from here and then just just the amount of passive resources that builds up at this location you want to be freightering away from here to a new to your new area so you want distribution hub here for fr uh, freightering resources and then let's see so what are our other options we have oh, so station hall you could just go easily go passive resources here. I understand that. But I'm trying to make a case if you guys want anything else here. Sector command, you're not going to be really fighting from here. You're not going to, I mean, you're not going to be, so there's not enough labor here to be supplying heavies. Barricades, I just, you're, this is your starter. You're not, it doesn't, like people, hopefully people aren't trying to bomb you or attack you at your starter. If that happens, maybe you just self-destruct it. But passive resources, so station hall, really good option. So you're going to be freightering from here with distribution hub. You want station hall here for passive resources. And then you want frackhead here for passive resources. So those are your three, I believe your three options here. Okay. Frackhead buffing your mining facility um, for passive resources, station hall for station harvest rate for, for passive uh, resources from your station and then freightering away from here. And then this one, <clears throat> this one, so your tier four are going to be all passive resources. And if you're going to be getting a mining colony here. So if you want to go, if you, I think the only real viable option, there's no, there's no ice here. So you're not going to make a dome here. There's only a medium moon, two point moon. You're not going to be making an HSA here. So if you want to go uh, mining colony and get cloning relay, that's going to be your first slot is buffing your mining colony. Okay. And then I believe you um obviously passive resources meaning so when you go when you start getting your uh thinking about what are you doing with your orgs obviously you're sit you're, you're keeping this so you 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 have options you can go royal pilots which is gonna uh, just uh, it's gonna give you a buff on light production here or you could go easily a more utility you could go transgalactic here and it's gonna buff uh, how many freighters are in your pool? It's going to be buffing how much how much cargo is is from these freighters that are departing your starter this station. You got to read these these orgs. It gives you ten freighters to your pool early early freighters to your pool, and it's going to buff how much they can carry. So if you're comboing this with freighter speed. Um, and then you've got transgalactic from here. This, you might be a really good option from here. You're moving a lot of resources from your starter. Maybe get transgalactic. Or you could easily go Helios here. Or you could easily, this is another thing you got to pay attention to. You've got, just like Workshed, I've went over this. You could get state notar uh, notaries here. Okay, What that allows you to do is it allows you to build two level one orgs at your starter. So if you go into here, you might be able to get transgalactic and you could get Royal pilot school for making lights. Like you, you're, you, maybe you're pumping industrials from here from a while, or you're going to be making scouts from here. Okay. This, this station is going to be stuck on lights because you're not making an HSA here. So you're getting pure scouts. Maybe you go instead of going some kind of raid build with fleet docks, or you could easily just sit here and get royal pilot. At the end of the day, the way that you win this game is ship production. So maybe instead of getting fleet docks, you get docking bay here and you just pump scouts from here. Okay. So that's going to be your combo for getting state notaries here, getting uh, transgalactic. You're moving a lot of resources from here. And then you go Royal Pilots, or you could easily go, if you did go a raiding build here, you could go Less Apaches, which gives you plunder. 
and then or you could go Helios for running flares. But like I said, early game utility with getting state notaries is I think a really good play here because it's getting you access to do a lot of utility things at your starter. Moving resources, running flares, or moving resources, raiding, or early or moving resources and getting early light production, comboing this docking services with Royal Pilots or fleet docks with Royal Pilot School, okay? So that's my emphasis there. So, <clears throat> and then this one, this is another thing. Uh, this is the reason why I wanted to touch orgs before I touched tier four. So if this is station as passive resources, you really, honestly, I think you only have one option. You could make a case for Ataka. So Ataka is movement to raiding. So this station is obviously going to have some labor at it when you get your uh, when you get living quarters up. You're going to have 800 plus uh, labor here. So if you want to go, you know, you can go a, a raiding build. You get Ataka. Ataka gives you three speed on raiding from this from from ships fed from this station so you go ataka you go fleet docks you go acquisitions and then you're running like a raid card on the station itself you're going to get a lot of buffs to early game raiding or instead the the the, the more viable option is zarachi so zarachi gives you a fourth slot for another refinery when you build this all of a sudden a fourth slot pops up here for a fourth refinery and then you can then this is this is what affects what you're going to build for your tier four uh buildings so if you get go zarachi on this thing for passive resources you want industrial complex industrial complex buffs your refineries you can see this increases the metal gas and crystal output of this station by 1.5 percent up per level so if you've got a lot of if you're making a lot of passive resources here like we said we want a station hall here we've got our refineries we got frackhead here you go industrial complex and it just buffs even more what your station is doing okay so you if you did end up getting mining colony here industrial complex is really good okay i know i'm rattling through a lot of this but i've been i've been asked you know i'm trying to you know get through these uh, a lot faster okay so maybe my last slot here <clears throat> is maybe i go internal affairs maybe i i want i want spy defense here that's a good option the issue with um you you could make the case making truckers hall here but it's doesn't you don't have the combo here you're good you're doing a lot of other things with your tier one buildings it's not good to get truckers hall if you don't have dust if you don't have um, trailer manufacturing here, okay, maybe you maybe some of you guys want to instead get the uh, f you want to do a lot of flare running instead. Maybe you don't want acquisitions here. You go plasma chamber, and then maybe you go um, docking services here for making scouts. Maybe you want to go uh, container port here for early game freighters. And then you go uh, trailer manufacturing is another combo piece. You need, in order to do trailer manufacturing, you really do want to combo it with Trucker's Hall. So Trucker's Hall affects in your industrials. It gives them speed. So if you're like early game running a lot of flares, you go plasma chamber, industrial complex. No, excuse me. No. Trucker, you go plasma chamber, Trucker's Hall, and then Trailer Manufacturing, and you can just run a lot of flares, okay? So my so my final build on this thing usually goes Plasma Chamber. I'm, I'm probably going uh, Implant Clinic for early game uh, lighting up flares and scanning stuff because I, I do like to run a little, at least get enough for at least one... One of each mission, level one mission runner. So I get enough scouts to run level one scout missions. I get enough Corvettes to run early game raiding missions. And I get enough patrols to do the same. So I have one of each. And then uh, getting, you know, getting communication array up so I can, I can have vision. And then, uh, so 
obviously like I don't have search and rescue on this thing, but I always go acquisitions, especially if you look around, you got a lot of rating close by to you. And then probably, uh, let's see. So we went plasma chamber. We went docking services for scouts. No, we didn't. We went implant clinic for, for, for running. So acquisitions. So implant clinic, uh, acquisitions for rating, and then you really do need some kind of lights. So, like I said, maybe this one's up in the up in the air. Which ones you guys want to go? Maybe you go either docking services for making scouts, or you go fleet docks for making corvettes or patrols. And then we ended up going. We went drone launch facility here. We went warehouse here, and we went communication array here for vision and seeing some early game missions. And then here we went station hall for passive resources, frackhead here for passive resources, and then a distribution hub for freightering away from here. And then if you did get a mining colony here, you went colonial uh, relay, and then we went industrial complex here. And maybe, and th this is this is up to really up to you guys what you want this fourth slot to be, okay? And maybe maybe uh, you know you can see how this is built. And then you can kind of see what your prerequisites are for getting a tier three org, tier four org. But this is this is a heavily focused on an industry. So if you do get a mining colony here, maybe eventually you make prospect ink here. And maybe if you have enough uh, domain, maybe this last spot is a domain building just to make sure that you could possibly get either Expedialis here to buff uh, your if you get a Stargate here, you can buff your Stargate or you can go RG for passive resources. So. That's my opinion, guys. That's my starter. That's how I would build it. I know I'm not actively showing it to you, but hopefully explaining it and going through my reasoning of why I picked each slot, you guys can um, uh, get my opinions on my starter. And that, like I said, not only early game, you're obviously going to find a spot for your for your mining facility early game mining facility and then early game trading port. So when you get your trading port to level five and then you send out your first station, you can, you can stream resources to your new location. So, or that's another option. Okay. Good thing. I, I was talking another good option instead of getting prospect ink here would be go, go Robwell. You can go Robwell and Robwell allows you to, uh, well, it allows you to stream and it increases your, freighters your how much your your freighters can hold and and ship so that's really really good you know going this could be a huge freighting station you're you're moving you're raiding from here and you're freighting a lot of resources away from here you can go robwell uh it, they affect your freighters departing the station and it allows you to stream a lot more resources so this combo piece with the other you know you're you're freightering away at least 1250 of each resource away from this location plus what your trading port can do okay so hopefully this is helpful guys this is my this is a first station a utility station maybe you make a mining colony here you're you're freightering a lot of resources away from here you're raiding a lot from here maybe you're running flares from here everything about this station is a utility a crutch to help get more resources to your new locations okay give me some feedback guys uh I'll maybe i might make more of these i'm not sure give me some feedback all right guys later